Some Wisconsin National Guard members are on their way to a new assignment. As Scott Steele shows us, it's been a day filled with difficult goodbyes. At a time when there's so much talk about bringing troops home, it can be easy to forget that so many are still being deployed. Good afternoon, 32nd. Good afternoon, The latest from here in Wisconsin. It's not really a goodbye, it's just a see you later. The 32nd Military Police Company, attached to the state's Army National Guard, about 120 in number, headed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. There are people back home in Wisconsin praying for you every single day. Goodbyes like this are tough on everyone, and so tears flow with minds reeling about uncertainties. When will we see you next? Talk. Hug. I'm thinking about leaving loved ones behind and things that I care about. He's going to be talking up like the dictionary when I get back, like, ugh, I can't wait to see him. This unit has been deployed in the past to places like Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and even Kosovo. So if there is a silver lining in this assignment, it's the sense that this project is not filled with similar peril. It's a great comfort to us that he's going to Cuba rather than to the war front. But the spectrum of danger is almost irrelevant when it comes to separation from those you love, those you take for granted, seeing every day. This is first deployment. I'm scared. It frightens me. And so one ceremony marks a goodbye, but all the folks here will be awaiting that next one, counting the days until a similar ritual will mark their return. In Milwaukee, Scott Steele, today's TMJ4. Nice story, Scott. The rest of the 32nd Military Police Company, about 89 members, will remain here available for any domestic assignments.